Hi, my name is Dave Sullivan. I'm your district attorney. The Northwestern DA's office has two consumer protection offices, one in Hampshire County and another in Franklin County. We're there to help you protect your family, your rights. The following information from the Federal Trade Commission explains why free trial offers aren't always free. Many of us want to have more energy, be more organized, or simply save money. Maybe it's a new vitamin, a color-coded calendar, or an all-purpose kitchen gadget. It could be almost anything. So when you hear about a free trial that could let you try a product before committing to buy it, well, what have you got to lose? Sometimes there's a downside to those offers. Some companies use free trials to turn you into a long-term customer rather than a trial subscriber. Other companies may use free trials as a way to sign you up for other products than the ones you wanted to try. They might hide the terms deep within the fine print that allows them to bill you every month until you cancel. And that means they've enrolled you to receive other products, sometimes lots of products, which in turn can cost you lots of money you hadn't budgeted for. There are other things that might cause a headache if you're not careful. How can you avoid the cost that might be hiding in some free trial programs? First, research the company online. See what other people are saying about their free trials and about their service. Complaints from other customers are a red flag. Second, if a box is pre-checked for you, uncheck it. That little check mark can be the symbol that gives the company the green light to continue the offer past the free trial or to sign you up for additional items, which would make that free trial offer anything but. Third, mark your calendar. Your free trial probably has a time limit. And once it passes, without you telling them to cancel your order, you may be on the hook for more than you bargained for. Fourth, read your credit card statements carefully to make sure you're not being charged for something you didn't order. Okay, so what happens if a free trial enrolls you without your permission? Here's what to do. Contact the merchant directly for help to sort out the situation. If that doesn't work, call your credit card company to dispute the charge. Your goal is to have the credit card company reverse the charge because you didn't actively order the additional merchandise. They say the best things in life are free and free trials can be great. But won't you feel good knowing that you've done everything you can to get exactly what you want? To learn more about free trial offers, visit ftc.gov slash free trials. If you've been charged for a free trial offer, Report it to the FTC at ftc.gov slash complaint. We're the Federal Trade Commission, helping consumers spot, stop, and avoid scams. If you have this or any other consumer problem, please call our consumer protection units in Hampshire County at 586-9225 or Franklin County in Athol at 774-3186 or use our website, northwesternda.org. My consumer protection team is there to help you.